hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial in my previous video or uh, previous few videos I discussed about the methods of generation of double sideband full carrier amplitude modulated signal so we discussed two such methods for generation of a DSP FC signal, the square law modulator and the switching AM modulator. So, in uh, the next uh, set of videos, we will be discussing about the demodulation or the extraction of the message signal from a double sideband full carrier signal. So, let us uh, try to understand the demodulation or detection of a message signal from a double sideband full carrier signal. Now we know that a double sideband full carrier amplitude modulated signal is given by the standard expression this EC cos omega CT plus MT cos omega CT. This is the carrier signal part which is not suppressed and this is the double sideband suppressed carrier signal consisting of the lower and the upper sideband. Now in the demodulation process, our main aim, our objective is to extract this empty part, okay, the message signal from this double sideband full carrier signal. That is our only objective. So, for the demodulation of a double sideband full carrier signal, there are two popular methods which are commonly used. First, the square law uh, demodulator and second the envelope detector okay there are two such methods which are commonly used for demodulation of a double sideband full carrier signal the square law demodulator and the envelope detector or the linear drive detector so in today's video uh, we will be discussing about square law demodulator we will be taking up these two uh, parts separately. So, in today's video, we will be discussing about the square law demodulator. Okay. So, let us uh, get started. Now, this is the square law demodulator method for demodulation of a double sideband full carrier signal. Now one of the conditions for the use of this demodulation method is that it is applicable for low amplitude level DSP FC signal. Okay, here the low level means that the amplitude should be less than 1 volt. Okay, or the modulation index is less. Okay, so this is one of the you can say a limitation of sort of square law demodulator that it can only be used uh, efficiently for low amplitude level signals which are amplitude modulated. So this is the block diagram or circuit diagram of uh, the square law demodulator method. It consists of a diode or any other non-linear device such as a transistor but here we have taken a diode. Then we have a low pass filter with a sharp cut off frequency to extract the message signal from it. Now the input signal which is fed to the diode is the double sideband full carrier signal. Now the working principle. The input output relationship of the diode is defined by the following expression y is equal to kx square where x is the input which is the double sideband full carrier signal and y is the output which is fed to the low pass filter and k is the proportionality constant which depends on the characteristics of the diode the type of diode which is used now the input signal as I said which is given to the diode is the double sideband full carrier signal AC cos omega CT plus MT cos omega CT. So the output of the diode 
which will be fed to the low pass filter will be the square of this signal multiplied with the proportionality constant okay so uh, so if uh, if you want to uh, understand in a better way try to draw the diagram in rough note down these expressions or get a screenshot of it so that you can understand the mathematical description part in a better way now as i said the output of the diode will be the square of the dfpfc signal multiplied with the proportionality constant which is given by this expression k into ec cos omega ct plus nt cos omega ct whole square now if we simplify this expression with the help of algebraic identity and open this uh, uh, bracket the square bracket and simplify it we will get uh, it as a k into e c cos omega c t whole square plus m t cos omega c t whole square plus 2 e c m t cos square omega c t the algebraic identity which is used is a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2 a b ok next we open the individual brackets and we get k into e c square cos square omega c t plus m t square cos square omega c t plus 2 e c m t cos square omega c t now while solving these sort of uh, complicated expressions always bear one thing in mind that always try to find common terms which one term is common in all the expressions here if we look closely we find that this cos square omega ct term is common in each and every one of these so you take that cos square omega ct out and form these expression in one square bracket okay then it will be easier for us to solve this or uh, put it in a more simplified expression okay always try to find common terms now this expression is simplified as k into cos square omega ct which is common then into ec square plus mt square plus 2 ec mt okay now we have put this identity here trigonometric identity cos square a is equal to 1 plus cos 2 a by 2 so here in place of cos square omega ct we write as k into 1 plus cos 2 omega ct by 2 so into ec square plus mt square plus 2 ec mt same as before then we have multiplied these two uh, expressions so k by 2 into e c square plus m t square plus 2 e c m t which is multiplied with this 1 then the same terms are multiplied with cos 2 omega c t here these terms this whole uh, square bracket is multiplied with 1 then it is multiplied with cos 2 omega c t so we get this expression cos uh, this whole expression now now this expression has uh, this this signal will be passed through the low pass filter now our main objective is to extract this part this message signal part because here the message signal gets squared up and so it is of no use here also it gets squared off and another important thing to notice here is that this whole expression is attached with this cos 2 omega ct frequency component ok so in no way we can extract the message signal out of this so always we will be interested in this part because here the mt the message signal is in simple form which is attached with only a constant k by 2 2 ec so it is this expression which you, which you should take care of ok this part has no use this mt square part is has no use ec square is a dc component so of no use only this part 2 ec mt this is the message signal component which we have to extract with the help of the low pass filter ok so let us see how it is done now the output of the diode is fed to the low pass filter which has a sharp cutoff frequency defined by the message signal frequency or the modulating signal frequency so it means that any signal or frequency component which has 
frequency greater than omega subscript m is blocked anything which is lower than this or equal to this will be passed okay so as i said in this expression that expression which we got in uh, the previous uh, paper here the ec square is the dc part which is blocked by the filter here the component cos omega mt square it gets squared up so when we put the trigonometric identity will get 2 omega m part 1 plus cos 2a by 2 cos square a is equal to 1 plus cos 2a by 2 so we will get 2 omega m part which is greater than omega m this is the only component 2 ec em cos omega mt we have i just i mentioned here it is multiplied only with a constant it's not squared so only this signal this term will be passed through the low pass filter and this entire path which is attached to cos 2 omega ct will be blocked. Here the only thing which we have done is we have replaced mt with em cos omega mt which is the message signal. Okay, So this dc part gets blocked, this square message signal part gets blocked. Now this whole term as it is attached to cos 2 omega ct it gets blocked. So only this part 2 ec em cos omega mt is the part which is gets passed through the low pass filter so we get the message signal in this form so the output the final output of the low pass filter is 2 ec em cos omega mt which is equal to k cos omega mt where k is equal to 2 into ec into em it is a constant and we are not it does not matter so we get the message signal in simple form so this is the demodulation of a double sideband full carrier signal using a uh, the square law modulator method, dem uh, demodulation method. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Now, in my upcoming video, I'll be discussing about the envelope detector method. So, in any of these portions, if you uh, don't understand, please pause the video and note down the things step by step and try to understand them take it slow so any in any part you don't understand pause the video then and there itself and note down the things in a in your note copy and try to follow up the things and try to understand them so please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much